I want to begin this video by stating a few things. If it helps, call it a declaration of intent. I want to make it clear why this video exists, as well as a handful of other things to avoid confusion. To begin, this video is going to be discussing a recent drama that had a lot of moving parts, as well as referencing a few other dramas this person played a part in. I'll be giving you very brief summaries of those events to help you understand what you need to know, but understand that these are not in-depth summaries by any means, and if you want to know more, I will link a few videos for reference in the description. I highly recommend you check them out. Moreover, this video will be touching on a subject that at least two others in the community that I know of have discussed. I will link videos from those two creators, Lyo Convoy's Reviews and Mally Malware, in the description as well. There are also a few other reasons I am choosing to make this video, and I'll be clear about them right now. The individual I'm going to be talking about is one that, based on my analytics, many of you used to watch back in their prime. Moreover, some of the YouTubers they wronged are people my channel analytics also tell me many of you watch, and some of the people they wronged also happen to be personal friends of mine. With all of that being what it is, I felt making a video discussing this topic was more necessary than not, since there are so many connections between this person and their wrongful actions and my own community here on this channel. This video is going to have minimal visual editing, as presentation is not the focal point of this commentary, and instead I will be putting a greater focus on the message and conveying what I feel needs to be conveyed in the best way possible. So with all that out of the way, feel free to pop open a new tab and we can begin. Prisonmate Luke, you have failed this community. For those of you who do not know who Prisonmate Luke is, he was a former gameplay commentator who made videos about various controversies in both mainstream media and the YouTube community. Some of the controversies he involved himself in, and subsequently built the backbone of his audience from, were the Hopeless Peaches drama, the Pyrocynical Allegations, the Antunes drama, and several others besides. Prisonmate Luke also had a knack for misrepresenting situations, which, if I had to guess, was a byproduct of him rushing to try and be the first on the scene to a topic to maximize views, subscriber growth, and ad revenue. Some of these mistakes were addressed by others. Some of them were rarely spoken of at all. However, until two weeks ago at the time of scripting this, most mistakes Luke made were never truly addressed by himself. The mistakes continued to pile up over the course of these situations, and many others like them, until eventually Luke's channel completely collapsed under the weight of them, leaving his reputation in ruins and a dead channel behind him as he disappeared into the night. Notice that I said, until two weeks ago. After a year of radio silence, Luke has emerged with a video titled Final Update, where he discusses and addresses some of the things that led to the fall of his channel and the destruction of his reputation. Not all of them double underlined, just some, but we're not there yet. Now this video is not going to be a comprehensive response and deconstruction of the update that Luke put out. Mally Malware has done a fine job with that already, and like I said, it's linked below. I highly suggest giving it a watch. She makes just about every point I could think to make in regards to that video, and watching it will clue you in on the contents and pitfalls of that update video. There is one aspect of that video I will address right now, however, and that is the failure Luke displays in addressing, acknowledging, and apologizing for the part he played in the public witch hunt against Hopeless Peaches, and instead he chooses to do two things. The first was placing the blame solely on Creep Show Art in that video. The second was to leave a comment apologizing to Peaches a day after the fact. This is probably going to be the one time I directly address that video and Luke specifically. Luke, that was quite possibly the most damaging mistake you ever made with your platform. Bar none. You helped turn an entire community of people on one person going so far as to make them feel guilty for not being fucking dead. And I grant you that this was likely not your intent, but it was what occurred when you made the point about how she suicide baited her audience. Now some may argue your continuous blunders in the pyrocynical allegations were a bigger mistake, but I argue this was much, much worse, if only because Peaches didn't have the same level of support Pyro did. 
Peaches was not even at 100k subscribers yet. She didn't have the community support an established creator like Pyro had. The fact you treated this apology like an afterthought for the comments at best, or something to continue to hide from after a full year of hiding at worst, is the most chicken shit thing I have ever witnessed another commentator do on this platform. Even if the whole goddamn world forgives you for doing all of that, and I'm not saying they do or even that they should, I'd question the integrity and intelligence of anyone under the sun who says they respect you after you did that. Fuck you, Luke. Fuck you. <sighs> Alright. Now that I've gotten that off my chest, I think this is a good place to segue into the video's actual point. The topic of forgiveness. I've been noticing this really annoying thing, and it, it's not just in this situation, but there is some of it at play here. When a creator fucks up, people who weren't wronged will start telling them they're forgiven. I've seen it in this situation with Luke, I've seen it in similar situations in other communities, and much to my chagrin, I've even noticed some of my regular viewers pulling this shit. Everywhere I look, I just see audience members walking around like it's Easter fucking Sunday, passing out forgiveness like they just climbed right off a plank of fucking wood to cleanse the sins of their favorite YouTubers. If you are one of the people who does shit like this, I want you to listen to me, because this next part is specifically for you, okay? You were not hurt. You were not wronged. You do not possess the right to forgive anybody in these situations. Stop leaving dumbass fucking comments forgiving people who hurt others on their behalf when they neither asked nor want you to. You simply do not have that right. If you are a frequent viewer of mine who thinks doing this is acceptable, please unsubscribe and kindly fuck off forever, because it genuinely sickens me that some of you have the fucking temerity to pretend it's your right to offer forgiveness to the people who caused very real harm to somebody who isn't you. Because the fact of the matter is, when somebody victimizes somebody else, it's the decision of the victim if they're forgiven, not anybody else, and certainly not you. And now that we've addressed that, we're going to get to the final point. And that's the subject of, are creators required to forgive other creators when the dust clears? Well, that answer is no. Nobody is ever owed forgiveness. Forgiveness is not a right. It's not an entitlement. An apology doesn't create a trade offer that the other party is required to accept. When somebody injures somebody else, and I'm using this word very deliberately here since this was months of psychological trauma Hopeless Peaches had to endure at the hands of thousands of people, all spurred on by the words of Luke, they are well within their rights to look that person in the eyes and tell them to go fuck themselves because they do not forgive them. Each person Luke hurt gets to make that choice, if they want to forgive him or not. But nobody has any right to tell those who were hurt how they must respond. If all of them, some of them, or none of them choose to forgive him, it's their call. And it's their right to make whatever call they need to in order to heal. Neither you, nor me, nor any other victim can dictate how anyone directly hurt by Luke must respond to his apology. This video's message isn't something I thought I'd ever need to state aloud, let alone put in a video, but here we are, I guess. If nothing else, what I want all of you to take away from this video is this. If somebody genuinely hurts you, you have the right not to forgive them. That's okay. And if you know somebody who's been genuinely hurt, you need to respect that that is their right. They don't have to forgive them if they don't want to. I apologize if this video isn't the big comeback you were hoping for after two months of radio static on the channel, but this situation is one I've had some thoughts about for a long time, and I wanted to make sure this was said. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.